cigar from JR Cigars and uh, this cigar is called the Black Abyss and this size is a Robusto but it is, goes by the name Banshee. Now a little bit about this cigar. The wrapper is San Andreas um, um, Maduro. Uh, the binder is Corojo. The filler is Cuban Seed Corojo Criollo 98. Uh, Olar and Dominicana uh, Palato Cubano. So, uh, and they list it as a full strength cigar. Now, a little more about this cigar. It's actually uh, made by Jose Blanco or uh, Chachi Blanco. Uh, same guy who has other boutique brick, uh, uh, blends, including aging room, swag, what have you. Um, it's made in the Tabacalera Palma factory in the Dominican Republic. And uh, uh, by the name uh, Black Abyss, it does live up to that name because uh, it uses a San Andreas Mexican wrapper. Um, these are very reasonably priced. Uh, actually, this size here is $60, a box of 20. And uh, all the names, as I said, it comes in uh, uh, five, uh, four different sizes. So um, let's get right to it. The Black Abyss Banshee. Here's a close-up of the band. As you can see, it uh, clearly says Black Abyss. Now we also have this little band around the foot, which we need to uh, remove. As I recall, this one peels off. I've sampled this before, previously, so let's see now. Has a nice weight in the hand. Has a little oily shine to the wrapper, not a lot. Very coarse feeling wrapper, very coarse feeling. Good draw. A little firmness there, but very workable. Did I show you a picture of the density of the foot earlier? Take a look at this. That's what it looked like before I lit it. This is it now. Well, your very first flavor you're gonna notice right off the bat is a espresso. Very dark, straight, powerful espresso. There is some sweet cedar there. There is some sort of a, a fruity, additional flavor there. It's hard to pin down, sort of a boysenberry type flavor attached to that cedar. Um, there is black pepper. Which I would rate at about a seven-ish. The uh, espresso is the overwhelming flavor and it uh, can't be hidden. So that's the way I'm going to let it start as far as the description. Uh, very dark noted cigar. Lots of espresso. Some sweetness of cedar and boysenberry is about the only, only way I can describe it and uh, black pepper now the black pepper is lingering nicely on the finish as I speak to you now I can feel it the finish at this early point just starting is somewhat of a toasted cream 
has some toasted notes to it. So I'll be right back. As soon as something else changes, let's let it settle down. The Black Abyss Banshee. A little over an inch in. The espresso is still quite strong. Actually, it may have toned down just a tad. Add in there a little earthiness. Add in there a little uh, cocoa, which is sort of a faint cocoa, but it is definitely there and you, uh, mixed in with the uh, sweet cedar. The boysenberry flavor, which is uh, unusual, but it's, sort of, it's, it's starting to tail off. And in its place, I believe, will be the cocoa. So uh, that's where we are. Um, not Nothing else has changed. Finish is still about the same. Uh, the lingering pepper is very nice on the finish. Um, I would call the cigar medium to full at this point. And... Uh, you know, it, it has to feel with all the heavy espresso notes and it may go full body. So let's see where we go from here. About two inches in now, just a little further down the road than we were in the last segment. And the uh, cocoa is starting to come in much stronger now. It's mixing nicely with the sweet cedar. You're getting a little richness and a little touch of butteriness to those two flavors now of course the espresso is still your lead flavor and there is a little earthiness uh, at the base everything else is about the same but uh, the fact that we're getting a little more uh, sweetness and richness from the added cocoa and a little butteriness is a good thing So let's wrap it up. A few minor transitions from the last segment to now, but nothing major. Some of the hints of boysenberry came back. <clears throat> Some of the, the butteriness sort of tailed off, but you do have your sweet cedar and your cocoa as your main flavors. Uh, some of the richness went away. Uh, the uh, espresso is still very prominent. There's a little uh, hint of, of dry wood, uh, but that's about it. So main, your main flavors are still there. Uh, cigar ended up real close to full bodied. I'm going to stick with medium to full, but it's very close to full bodied. The finish is about the same. There's a little toastiness to the, uh, to the cream finish, and it's sort of a thick, thicker cream than it was before. Nice lingering black pepper. Cigar is pretty good. For the price point, if you like a lot of heavy espresso in your cigars, this is well worth trying. As a matter of fact, you can get a 10-pack of these cigars for $30. So uh, you can try them without breaking the bank. But uh, overall, pretty decent cigar. Uh, would have been nice to have a little more sweetness, a little more richness, but not, not a bad mix of flavors. Uh, again, if you like the heavy espresso, heavy coffee notes with a little sweetness to go along with it, should be a cigar you should try. So, all in all, I'm rating the Black Abyss an 88. So, there you have it. The Black Abyss Banshee from JR Cigars.